Hello everybody, this is Bill McFadden from TomePure.com and in this video we're going to compare the horns in six different leading orchestral libraries. The Vienna Synchron, Dimension Brass, the Audio Bro, uh, Modern Scoring Brass, the 8DO Century Brass, the VSL Horns, that's the Vienna, Vienna Symphonic Library the Spitfire Studio Brass, and the Orchestral Tools Brass. So, and this is just the uh, French horns. So let's go ahead and take a look at the interface in the Vienna Synchron Dimension Brass. By the way, I've tried to balance them all. So when I hit a single note, we're, we're somewhere between uh, a minus 12 and zero on this scale here. So look, taking a look at the interface for the uh, Synchron player, we're looking at the sustain patch. And this again is the Dimension Brass. We have four players here. I've tried to eliminate the uh, reverb. So initially we're just looking at everything as dry as it can be pretty much. So there's your Synchron. So here we have the Audio Bro, the newest uh, comer on the Brass Library competition. And we have the main patch. Usually when you open the interface, is you're, you're looking at the performance interface. Here we have sustains. And this also has four horns. It's an ensemble patch. And if we go to the ensemble mode, we see, um, actually, there we go. Now we have our four horns and they're panned in this position here and you can move them around like so. And uh, we have, now the thing that sets the Audio Bro horns apart is it has Auto Divisi. So, there are two modes per voice and 2D. So when you have the 2D Divisi mode, if you hit one note, you're playing all four horns. If you hit two notes, you're still playing four horns or just doubling up on two notes. And you still have four horns when you hit three notes. And four horns when you hit four notes, one horn, horn per note. So, and this is about as dry as you can get it. So if you look over at the mixer, we're using the close position and all of these sends are off. So none of this, so none of the uh, convolution reverbs are active. And just to be sure you can turn them off like so. Now we will take a look at these using a common reverb. I'm using the uh, spaces, the East West Spaces 2 reverb. So we will put that on these horns so you just hear them in their full glory with reverb and we might even add a little compression on top of that. But right now we're just looking at them dry. And so here's your uh, 8DO Sentry Brass. Here's your interface. And uh, again, we're doing uh, the sustain patch. Let's see, make sure I'm okay. Let's get on it. It's, a deal. Here we go. Actually, this probably needs to be boosted up a little bit to be comparable in volume to the other ones. Okay, so, and then of course you have the crossfading with your CC controller one. So I pretty much have this, the uh, Forte, double or Forte, double Forte selected for each of these and we can go down and, and see the difference as we go into the different uh, velocities and the, the various piano to forte to double forte now one thing you may have noticed it actually is a six horn patch but they didn't have a four horn patch so 
I tried to mix the or get the volumes, but you are going to get a different timbre simply because you have six horns. Horns. And then we have the VSL horns, and uh, this is the interface we have for the uh, Vienna instruments. So there's actually, if you look at the uh, performance, the reverb is off. Okay, so right now we're just looking at the dry patch. And then uh, let's take a look at the uh, Spitfire Studio Brass. And here we go. Okay, so as you see, we have four horns. And there we have the close mic. And after that, we have orchestral tools. And here's the interface for the orchestral tools. And we're using actually two close mics. I've toned that a little bit. Actually, maybe we could boost them up a little bit for volume levels. And as you see, the CC1 is up, is basically all the way up. So those are our six patches that we're looking at. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit of reverb. I have them set up. So all we have to do is turn this up and we'll get reverb in the patch. So here's the Dimension Brass with reverb. Audio Bro with the same reverb. century or century brass and remember there are six horns there and then your VSL horns and your Spitfire studio Tool. So they notice they all have different slight sounds depending what you're going for. Um, now the Audio Bro, as I said, does have Divisi. So let's go ahead and play two notes. So by playing two notes, we still have four horns, but it's playing two per note. Now if I do the same thing on say any of the other ones, like here's your synchron brass. Notice we get a lot louder because basically we're playing two notes. Each note is four horns, so we're getting eight horns. Here we have two horns. Here you have six horns, so when you hit two notes, you're getting 12 horns. And here you've got four horns, so you're getting eight horns with two notes. And then here's your audio bro. Now let's play three notes. So with Audio Bro, three notes, we're still getting four horns. But with the other ones, the, the four horn ensembles were actually getting 12 horns. So you see the volume go way up because you have 12 horns. Here we have four. Here you have, now that's a six, so you're getting 
18 horns. So here we have 12 horns hitting three notes. And you can see the levels are getting really high. But with the audio bro, you just have four horns. Now if we hit four notes, you still have your four horns. But with the others, four times four, you're getting 16. So that's the value of out of easy. So here you would be getting uh, six times four, 24 horns. Here you'd be that down to a uh, 16. So now let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and add to each of her, each of the uh, on the main insert, we'll go ahead and add a little bit of compression. This is a compressor um, by VSL, Compressor Pro. So it gives you a little fatness to the sound. And here's your audio, bro. century or radio century brass your VSL horns Spitfire Studio Brass. Remember, they all have this applied reverb, the East West Spaces 2. And your orchestral tools. So the orchestral tools to me stands out as sort of being a more of a mellow uh, brass sound, but each has its own role depending on what kind of music you're going for. So this is Bill McFadden from tonepure.com. If you like this video, please click like. If you wish to subscribe, please also click on the bell icon so you'll be notified with uh, videos coming up. So Bill McFadden signing off from Tone Pure Music.